Hey, they've already been called. They're just I'm waiting. Fights with who? You Let's know go. what? Maybe you should hang on a little longer. We'll Let's see go. how it goes. Then we won't have to get the report by ourselves. What is it you're doing here? Walking. Then walk. walk. Okay, that's what I was doing. Came out of house. Well, you've been here like 15 minutes now. Let's go. Walk away. Keep walking. Walk hmm. away. Walk away right now. You need help? You got this one coming. I'm happy to help you. I didn't hit you. There's a difference between pushing you. You're aggressive on their neighborhood. Someone came running. You better walk away. You walk away. You talking to my wife right now? That's your wife. Walk away. Walk away. Check it out. You either walk away or I'm gonna carry your ass out of here. What do you want to do? Or what? What are you gonna do? You walk on me. Let's go. Walk away. I didn't do anything. I'm about to do something to you. You better start walking. You better start walking right now. I ain't coming after you. You're in the wrong neighborhood, motherfucker. Get out. Get out. Where? Where's your house? What's your address? Maybe we should walk you home. Walk you home? Oh, you bet. You want to bet what I can do? I live here. Okay, right now, you're harassing the neighborhood. I'm not harassing anyone walking through the neighborhood. I live in it, so. Where? <laughs> so check, check it out. We are a tight knit community. Okay. We how take care of each you, other. Hell of a lot longer than your ass, because I have never seen living? you before in my how life. Long have you been living here? Why does that even business. matter to you? How long have you been living it doesn't here? matter. You know what? Get the hell out of my face. Get out of my you. face. You walk up to me. Check it out, motherfucker. I ain't playing with you. You either get your ass moving, or I'm going to move you. You want to bet? I'm about to show you what I can do. You better walk away. Walk away. Walk away. I'm walking. You keep following me, sir. There's only one way out of here. It's right over there. There's multiple ways out of here, sir. You want to bet? Extreme Foolishness TV here. I'll be reacting to the video you just watched. The video appears to be an army drill sergeant, a guy by the name, I think Jonathan, whatever his name was, Jonathan Extreme Fool, 42 years old, walks up to this black guy, who he pretty much says he doesn't know him and he doesn't live in the neighborhood. He was very aggressive to the guy. See, when I watched the video, first thing that jumped, jumped onto me was that this guy is a bully. He's a bully. He thinks because he's big, he can just walk up to this black guy who's smaller than him and just intimidate him. And he tells him to get the fuck off or walk away. And I'm like, th the part that really pissed me off was when he said, get off my face. Like, dude, you walked up to the guy. Why are you saying he should get off your face? If you want him, if you don't want him to be in your face, don't walk up to him. Like, this is ridiculous. I don't understand, like, this guy is clearly a racist, racially profiling. And this happens all too often to black people in America. And enough is enough. The black guy cannot just walk in peace in his neighborhood. Even if that were not his neighborhood, can he just walk on a public street? The white guy does not own that street. And if you think you have a problem, whatever, call the police, let the police deal with it. And he had his wife saying there, that oh oh you being rude well, he's being rude yet yeah. it was her husband who was being rude to the black guy there's some extreme foolishness people and people i'm sure there's some people out there on youtube or whatever on social media who are going to say well he should have just comply comply what what audacity does the white guy have to walk up to the black guy and ask him to leave the neighborhood why should he comply for what? This is some racist stuff going on here. And that guy does not deserve to wear the uniform of the United States Army. The Army should kick him out. If it's a drill sergeant or whatever he is, he is not fit to be a service member. Period. And I'm surprised they haven't kicked him out. He needs to be kicked out of the military. He doesn't deserve to wear the uniform because he doesn't have the honor and integrity that a service man should have. He's a bully. He's not a guy who's gonna protect someone. He's a racist. These are the kind of people who wanna become cops. These are the kind of people who are so quick to shoot folks. 
shoot black people. And this just this is reminiscent of the Trayvon Martin case when George Zimmerman called 911, followed Trayvon Martin, attacked Trayvon Martin. When Trevor Martin tried to defend himself, he shot Trevor Martin and said it was self-defense. If this guy had tried to defend himself now and this white guy had shot him, he would say, oh, it's self-defense. And some people would say, oh, it's okay. Same thing with Armand Aubrey in Georgia. He was chased by this so-called neighborhood vigilantes who are nothing but racist, looking and racially profiling black people. They followed him. They followed Armand Aubrey, chased him down, blocked him as he tried to run away, and shot him. And they're claiming self-defense. I'm like, what, what, the, what the heck is going on here? This extreme foolishness. This guy's a bully. And to make matters worse, he put his hands on the black guy. And as a plaintiff's attorney, I hope he can find a plaintiff's attorney in South Carolina, I think this happened in South Carolina, to sue the heck out of that guy and bankrupt him. If that were my client, I would make sure that this guy gets bankrupt because I do not like bullies. I fight bullies every day. I sue insurance companies every day. I've sued nightclubs and bouncers who put their hands on my clients and beat them up and have put them out of business. People like this need to be bankrupt. He needs to lose everything. So that will send a message. They don't go around walking up on people and putting your hands on them. That is not the kind of world we live in. Mind your business, stay in your house. If you have a problem, call the police. And you know, which I didn't even know what the guy was doing. He was walking. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know. Let me know what you, th uh, what you think in the comments. Drop a comment, like this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed. We all know this guy is an extreme fool for profiling and following this black guy, being a bully and putting his hands on him. And the extreme foolishness has to stop. Stay away from the drama people and most importantly, say no to extreme foolishness.